Hi, I'm Lauren Poindexter, bringing you the first episode of the Picatinny Sound Off, which is our quarterly video highlighting all the excellent things happening right here at Picatinny Arsenal. Welcome to the Pyrotechnics Research and Development Facility here at Picatinny Arsenal. This is a 27,000 square foot facility geared towards producing pyrotechnic munitions from start to finish. Here we support many munitions, including battlefield illuminants, such as visible and IR, signals, such as smokes, handheld signals, and trip flares, training simulators, such as IEDs, force on force, and incoming artillery, non-lethal and less than lethal devices such as flashbangs, stun grenades, and sting ball grenades, aircraft countermeasures, primers and tracers for small, medium, and large cal ammo, and incendiary devices. This facility is very unique in that it provides a closed loop capability for the pilot scale production of new pyrotechnic munitions. We can take raw incoming materials, then we can process, characterize, mix, press, and assemble submunitions and full munitions. Finally, we can performance test those munitions and provide full feedback to the design engineers for further development. Our main objective here is to provide pyrotechnic solutions that allow for increased battlefield dominance for our warfighters, and this facility provides that capability. Seventy-five girls from high schools across northern New Jersey attended Introduce a Girl to Engineering, February 26, 2015. The annual initiative organized by Picatinny Arsenal aims to encourage students to consider jobs in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. For two hours, engineers showcased work that included 3D printing, weaponry, waterproof coating, interactive gaming technology, munitions, aeronautics, and nanotechnology. They also allowed girls to participate in hands-on demonstrations and experiments. Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day has been a part of RDEC for the past three years. It is an exciting event that is held during National Engineers Week. My name is Mike Fole and I'm a new equipment training instructor for RDEC. Basically my main job as a training instructor is to take new technologies um, that the military hasn't seen yet, learn them, learn the ins and outs, the details of them, uh, create a training support package, basically a course for that item, uh, and then travel all over the world. Every military installation uh, where there's a unit that needs that equipment, uh, we'll ship the equipment, I'll show up and uh, provide training on that equipment. And not only you know what it is and the capabilities, but uh, we'll take them outside, hands-on training, live fire ranges, um, a few different techniques to make sure that they understand how to use that piece of equipment and employ it to its full capability so it's an advantage to them on the battlefield. The, the biggest benefit of my job uh, is that we could be the direct link between the science and technology here at Picatinny and the warfighter to bring them the end product. So all the behind the scenes work that happens, we are the face and we relay all that information um, to the soldier to the best of our abilities. You can have the best equipment in the world, but if you're not properly trained on it um, or know its full capabilities, you just can't employ it properly on the battlefield. I'd say what I enjoyed most about the job is having that direct impact on the soldier at the end of the day. Uh, there's a lot of behind the scenes that happens to get that product out, but ultimately I'm the one that's gonna deliver it to them and train it to them. So it's, it's my responsibility to give them the best training that I possibly can. My name is Joe Carson, I'm the PGK IPD production lead. Well, the PGK stands for Precision Guidance Kit. Um, real exciting program to work on. It's a real game changer for the men and women in uniform. And what it does is it replaces your 155 millimeter artillery fuse uh, with the added benefit of some control devices that work with GPS satellites to locate its position and gradually guide towards its target. What the PGK does is it transforms a dumb 155 millimeter projectile into a smart area precision munition which drastically improves the accuracy from within a four football field grid down to only half the end zone. 
What makes PGK so unique is that it's compatible with current 155 millimeter artillery projectiles already in inventory. So you're handing the soldiers something relatively small to add to their tool belt that they can use with munitions they already have in inventory. Cost is also worth mentioning. You get a lot of bang for your buck with PGK, but most importantly, it reduces collateral damage and reduces the amount of rounds fired per mission. For more information on Picatinny Arsenal, stay connected by visiting our homepage and social media sites.